Hi. Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another AFL video, guys. Uh, a recap. Yeah. We have a recap of round eight. How often have I done a recap of the games? That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But anyway, we are going to have a little recap, recap, recap of the games. What went down, who won, stuff like that. Um, good week. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, hope you guys' team did win. If you guys' team didn't win, uh, sorry about that. You know, we all can, can be winners, unfortunately. But um, listen, you have about 15 more rounds to go. Um, still time. Still is some time. But um, yeah, still some time. But on that note, let's go and check it out. Let's go by game by game. First thing first, we are going to look at the season ladder and see who is doing what. Obviously, Collingwood, 71, Melbourne, St. Kilda. Brisbane, who are absolutely on fire. Winning, I think I think we've won about five straight games. Uh, we got Port Adelaide, Geelong, Western Blues, Martin, and Port Adelaide as well have been winning. Port Adelaide again have been winning. Geelong said so they've been winning. So you are starting to see some things regarding the top teams and the bottom teams. You see the bottom teams are absolutely dog crap. The Hawthorns, West Coast Eagles, North Melbourne, is no offense, but uh, there's a reason they're not really having a good of a season. Um, yeah, it sucks. Because I think I was kind of on that train early on. I'm like, okay, you know, these guys actually, North Melbourne actually look decent. You know, West Coast look decent. I think a lot of people came into the season knowing and feeling Hawthorne were probably going to win a spoon. Um, unfortunately, that's looking like the case. Them and West Coast Eagles may split again. Because West Coast, imagine West Coast Eagles, back to back years potentially, of splitting the West Coast, of splitting the winning spoon. So listen, you may not be the worst team, but you are the worst team. You may not be, you know, you. <laughs> But at least you get the shit out on with somebody else. But um, hopefully West Coast Eagles don't. But you never want to see anybody get the winning spoon because you imagine could be in last place. And like, there's like a, a trophy you can say, a wooden spoon. <laughs> just the worst, just the absolute worst. But um, yeah, just tough them again this week. See the Bombers again have lost three straight and they're going up against Brisbane. Oh, brother. Oh, bro, that, that ain't, it's not going to look too good. Um, let's go ahead. Let's just check out the games. Obviously, we won 174. Pretty easy spoof ring against Carlson. Um, wasn't really concerned. Uh, I knew he was going to win. And uh, it's a very, very happy one. I did see some drama in the AFL. I, I should have started off with this, but I did see some drama in the AFL this weekend. If I'm correct over some racial stuff again, which is still happening in the league. Um, you know, I kind of I don't really talk about this unless it's something that I feel is important. Also, I think Rioli, I think Gene, Gene Rioli has some racial racial stuff towards him. I think but he frankly got booed, something like that. Um, at some point, man, we gotta gotta do better. Gotta do better, man. Um when the people who are doing it are just lame. Um, to just his poor people, really. I mean, I mean, I don't know what you are getting from that. You know, bullying, making fun of somebody's heritage. You know, their ethnicity, stuff like that. And that's just a way of to make you feel good. I, I, I just don't find that really cool at all. But uh, yeah, just want to check. Uh, that's something that I did see. Uh, some, something I, I did read about when I was on the AFL app, which. Which I, I did tell you guys I finally downloaded like last week. <laughs> so uh yeah, but yeah, 174 Brisbane win. Uh West Coast Eagles who I, I think I chose to win. Absolutely got smacked by Richmond, but uh, you got two not good teams, but Richmond still proving to have a bit of talent wise, you know, when led by Bolton. 104 58 being West Coast Eagles. Jalon Cats, I think Jaron Cameron had like a three goal game. Showing why he's one of the best players in the game right now. One of the best goal scorers in the game. Being Adelaide Crows, 98-72. Again, look pretty easy, look pretty smooth. Went by 26. Melbourne went, went by five against Gold Coast. I wasn't expecting this close of a game. Obviously, Gold Coast is kind of like, you know, mid-table, stuff like that. But, um, you know, it is still Melbourne. And obviously, Melbourne are in second place, winning three straight. So, like I said, the top teams are starting to win the games. They're, they're supposed to win. And all the 
you know, a lot of the bottom teams, it's, it, there's a reason those teams are in the bottom of the uh, table. Um, Western Bulldogs, 86, GWS, 71. Um, didn't watch this game, so I can't really say too much about that. Um, easy. It looked pretty content with Western Bulldogs. I got to watch the highlights. Um, but good way for Western Bulldogs, you know, just staying, staying with it. I've always said about the Western Bulldogs, tough, hard-headed. They don't care. They're coming at you. Led by Boston Pelly. Led by Smith. Led by Norman. Norman, right? 33, I think, is his name. They got Carlton up next. Should be a good game. I see Carlton lost the last field for it. It seemed like Carlton. I hope we're not having the little end of the season capitulation that they had last year, but it's just happening a lot, lot earlier. But um, Carlton kind of need to get going. Uh, Frio beating Hawthorne, man. I, uh, jeez, 69 points. Jeez, uh, damn. <laughs> jeez, uh, just not good for Hawthorne, man, really. Uh, just a lot, a lot of bad losses. I mean, they began you know, pretty beat pretty handily for a while now. And, uh, you kind of do feel bad, you know, because you don't want to see teams getting beat. I'll see lose my 69. Losing my 29, you know, losing my three to Adelaide, which, you know, a close game, but then my two. So they aren't really getting beat, beat up by Geelong, but, you know, there were some games they competed, they were in it, only with my, you know, a few points, like I showed, but still, man, you have to close the deal. You got to get the job done. Uh, poor Adelaide being the Bombers, looks like so the Bombers are kind of, well, three straight losses now. I just looked at I shouldn't know. I, I just looked at three straight losses, yeah. Um, and it's probably gonna be four against us. But again, Port Adelaide, man, very, very impressive early on. Um okay. they gotta keep going. Sydney Swans losing to Collingwood. 7748. Collingwood just showing why they're getting one of the top teams this season early on. I'm not surprised about I am kind of surprised about Sydney because how good Sydney was last year. I'll see that same as it really replicate this year. The R three and five loses of three straight games. Uh Whatever's going on Sydney, let me know in the comments down below. But St. Kilda, last game, beat North Melbourne, which I predicted was easy. 64-34. I'm, I'm surprised it was that low scoring, you could say. But listen, the win's a win. And that's what uh, man, it's just getting the job done. But uh, yeah, I should be having a round nine coming up later in the week for the games. I do know, because I, I think we play Saturday morning my time, like at 5.35 a.m. my time. So, uh. Should be good for that. And I'll, 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 I'll let you guys know if any late minute changes, stuff like that. But yeah, we should be good for that. Um, you guys, let me know you guys thoughts about the previous round as well. What surprised you? What disappointed you? And I, I kind of already noticed some of you guys' disappointments. But uh, as for, for us, man, Brisbane, just keep winning. Just keep playing. Um, and we'll see, man. We just got to keep playing. Got to keep winning. On that note, don't forget to type the video. Sub as well as always. Take care. Stay amazing. Be awesome. Be great. Peace.